did that and they tried, they're going full speed, um, that, that could certainly lead to unnecessary leave. There's a turnover in front, back in, score! The Huskies get on the board first! Casey Pickett gets her 10th goal of the year at the eight minute mark. A bouncing puck, she was able to settle it, come in and beat Schaus. You see that's a bobbled puck inside, right at a really dangerous spot. When you're working on the blue line, whether you're the defense or the offensive team, you need to control that puck. It is bouncing. It's a great play by Casey Pickett. She shows some speed right there. She comes in, tucks it right under Molly Schaus's pad. Quick wide pass to the left side. Welch coming in. High slot score! The junior out of Hastings, Minnesota, snaps off a shot and ties this game in one. Great pass to start that off from Ashley Motherwell. And probably everybody on the Northeastern team, I expected Daniel Welch to then try to slide it to Stack because if you have somebody like a player like Kelly Stack on the ice, you want the puck on her stick. But Danielle Welch does a great job. She cuts across, Stack's behind her, and Welch just lets us shot go, knowing that she has her two teammates going, rushing the net. It was a low shot, perfect placement. Obviously. Towards the net, swept aside there by Stack. So thank you, pardon, that was Kirk. In front of the net, the rebound, pick it. Tried to get it upstairs, but... Do you see her out of position like that? But great sequence by Northeastern coming around and just a funny rebound and Blake Bolden diving across to prevent Casey Pickett from getting her second of the game. And one thing they've worked on this, really, this week, excuse me, leading up is to find what's there. Park in front, score! Batted in by Bolden. And it didn't take long, 14 seconds into the power I saw that work this week paid off from Coach King and Coach Kennedy, and they really, what, one thing they were really looking for is to not try to force their hand with their players like they were looking for Kelly Stack there, but they know they have people like uh, Drew Burns who can also put the puck in and, and try to find the lanes that are there and not force it and find and try to force something that is not. Uh, Kelly Stack and Molly Schaus. McSorley fires a slapper on net. Good rising shot. Schaus makes the save. Take a look at the different chances here, and, and they comes in, and uh, BC has, has really stayed up high on the on the blue line, forcing them to post, uh, which you'll see a replay of here. Great passing sequence by Boston College. Comes right across to Danielle Welch here on the right side of your screen, and just comes off the post there. It's it's a great play. Final half minute, long pass ahead, up on the right side, coming in with speed, poked away by Schelling. See right there, Taylor Walsall gives that unbelievable pass. She looks up a split second before she gets the puck. Gets the puck all the way cross ice and Bizarri comes in with, with a lot of speed. Again, good defense here by Northeastern. They do One goal game, so, you know, if you look at the job Twitch done this year with a, a young team, it's remarkable. And he probably, if you look at Coach of the Year, I have to give him, oh, that's a big goal. Uh, turn over there and a great goal out in front. The pass came through Boston College now with 14-0-1 remaining in this third period, taking a two-goal lead on the uh, 14th goal of the season by Taylor Wassell. Great job controlling the play, controlling the puck, excuse me, who's bouncing around Northeastern, really sort of the defenseman lost sight of the puck. Taylor Wassell does a good job of finding it and, and getting open. And, and right there, there's a good passing sequence to get past Florence Schelling, which is what they need to do with the good goaltending, is make a pass. Goalie staying in the net for Northeastern. They don't pull the extra skater. Very surprised by that decision. And the seconds wind down, and the Boston College Eagles, for the first time, are Women's Hockey East Association champs. We knew there would be a first-time winner today, and Boston College was a both, this is a great, great game out there. Both teams played their hearts out. Boston College did a great job of protecting the puck, doing all the little things right, uh, and they certainly earned their victory today. And now, ladies and gentlemen, presented for the ninth time, their first Hockey East Championship trophy, please welcome Coach Katie King, her seniors, and captains. The Eagles of Boston College.
And so the Boston Ladies College and gentlemen, Eagles. This concludes Pretty good weekend for BC hockey as the men quit the season East. title last night. The women win their first ever Hockey East Championship with a 3-1 win over Northeastern in the championship game. And it